verify that the outer diameter of the endoscope is compatible with the inner diameter of the e-section cap. Refer to the chart provided in the instructions for use. Now we're ready to peel open the pouch and remove the device. Make sure to visually inspect the device for kinks, loose, or broken parts. Deploy and retract the snare. This will ensure that the device is functioning properly. Load the retrieval snare into the accessory channel of the endoscope. Position the distal tip of the snare into the catheter channel on the e-section cap. The tip of the snare should be flush to the end of the cap. Now place the e-section cap onto the endoscope and align the catheter channel with the endoscope's accessory channel. Gently pull the e-section cap to ensure there is a proper fit on the endoscope. Deploy the snare. Fold over and attach the tip onto the anchor side of the e-section cap. This is best accomplished by pinching the snare with your thumb and index finger. Now retract and deploy the snare to ensure attachment to anchor side of the e-section cap. The snare should always be retracted before inserting into the patient. Deploy the snare loop around the food bolus, foreign body, or excised tissue by moving finger loops forward. During retrieval, allow for proper spacing between the end of the e-suction cap and the object being retrieved before deploying the snare. Deploying the snare too closely to an object may result in the snare detaching from the anchor side of the e-suction cap. Retract snare loop with food bolus, foreign body, or excised tissue by moving finger loops backward. Endoscopic suction may be used as necessary to aid in the removal of food bolus impactions, foreign bodies, and excised tissue. After the procedure is completed, remove the endoscope from the patient. Deploy and detach the snare loop from the anchor side of the e-suction cap and retract the snare. Finally, remove the e-section cap from the endoscope and discard.